From out of the West comes Red Rider, America's famous fighting cowboy. Oh, that pony, Little Beaver. They've held up the Millersville freight, and we've got to get on their trail. You bet your Red Rider. Get along. Get him up. Get cloud of dust down there. It's hard to tell for sure. Jane, you go on back to Painted Valley Ranch. I'm seeing about this. The dust is clearing. Yes, it is one of Dad's wagons. It's a holdup. It's more than that. Maybe we've got the answer why your dad's been having so much trouble lately. Look, now they've got a wagon empty, they're taking out the rifles. They're going to shoot the horses. They're not shooting the horses. They're shooting holes in the wagon. Fred, what is this? Uh Uh-oh. Go back to the ranch. Where are you going? They're whipping up the horses, making them go alone toward Devil's Hole to make it look like a runaway. I'm stopping it. Come on, Thunder. Fred, I'm riding with you. Take it, Thunder, old boy. Let out and get me alongside that runaway. Jane, Jane, stay back. Fred! Fred! You'll be killed! All right, now, Thunder. Alongside that lead horse so I can jump to his back and pull him to a stop. All right, now. Easy now. All right. All right, come on, you horses. Ease it up. Ease it up. Oh, there. Look out, Fred! They're heading right into the main street of town. Oh, there, boys. All right, ease it up. Ease it up. Hold it there. Look out! Oh, go help him 
Come in, boy. Dad, what's happening around here? Well, that's the driver we saw take the goods out of Dad's wagon. Now he acts as if he's hurt. The crowd's bringing him in. Now keep a straight face, no matter what he says. Come down over here, Jeff. Here. What happened? What happened? Boys, let me tell you about it. It all started about three miles out of town. Yes. I was driving the freight wagon, look at his split to keep on time. When all of a sudden they started shooting at me from no place. Oh, six of them, and they was all wearing masks. Now, take it easy, Jeff. What happened next? Well, sir, they forced me off in that wagon at a rifle point. Took the goods off and put them on another wagon. And walked the horses into town and left me to walk in a foot. Another hold up. Yeah. Well, that's quite an experience, Jeff. Yeah. Baxter, you see about those horses. Jeff, come on over to my Silver Dollar Cafe. I reckon you'll need some doctor. Yeah. Say, he sure is the right guy. Ain't he? Well, Ryder, the invite includes you. I guess reckon my store wasn't your fault after all. Mighty big of you, Hanlon. You quieted that crowd pretty well. All right. If you won't be friendly, have it your way. Red, I can't stand this. We saw what that driver did. And now to hear him lie Just like that. Just keep mum for a while longer, Jane. Well, no wonder my father's having trouble making ends meet with these things happening to his freight company. I've got a hunch that this is the smallest part of what's happening. Or going to happen to your dad's freight business, Jane. I think I'll move you around Devil's Hole for a while and see what I can see. In the meantime, do this. You go on and see your dad at Millersville. But we were supposed to be back at the ranch tonight. Never mind that now. The Duchess won't mind. Ride to Millersville. Tell your dad what you saw, but ask him not to say anything for a while. But, Red... What are you going to do? Now, Jane, don't ask any questions. Because I'm not too sure of just what I'm looking for myself. Unless it's to pin something on Ace Hanlon. I'm willing to bet a plug dollar that there's some tie-up between him and that driver, Jeff. And if I find out what it is, some of your dad's troubles might disappear. Will you be in Millersville later? You'll see me when the time comes. Now, I think I'll start my looking around here by paying a visit to Ace Hanlon's cafe. After a while. Shadow at the window. Yeah, I guess it was my imagination. I remember what I said. One peep about where you got that hundred, and you'll find yourself at the wrong end of a forty-five. Listen, when have I I'm ever... telling you. We're monkeying with the U.S. mails when we stop those wagons, and I don't intend to have any talk. <laughs> boss, boss. You're supposed to knock when you come in here, Curly. Gosh, I almost forgot, boss. That greenhorn's in again. <laughs> the one who's been bragging that he's just come out west with $3,000 to get into a business. Good. <laughs> well, I'll be out to meet him. All right, Jeff, remember what I said. You get out the back way. Sure thing, Mr. Hanlon, and thank you. Uh, open the door, Curly. <laughs> Curly? Yeah. When did that red rider come into my place? I don't know. Uh, must have come in when I was with you. All right, never mind. Which is Burt Park? It, uh, that good-looking young guy with the white steps sitting, of course, at the fourth table. Introduce me. Sure thing. Hey, Charlie. Uh, Park. Burt Park. Somebody calling me? Yeah. Mr. A. Salmon wants you. Heard you'd come to these parts to set up in business, and, uh... He thought maybe he'd tell you what you want to know. That's right, kind of you, Mr. Hammond. 
Jake. Glad to know you, son. Understand you want to go into some sort of business. That's right. If I can find one. Got the capital for somebody, $3,000, right here in this here belt. Well, now that's the way you like to hear men talk. Frankly. Shows confidence. That's what I figured. Talk frank and people will like you. Well, I'll be glad to give you all the lowdown I can on the matchless business opportunities for forward-looking young men who wish to make devils hold their future home, Miss Parks. You're sure what I'd like to have, Mr. Hamlin. I'll be with you in just a moment. Smokey, see that Mr. Parks has his eats on the house and uh, keep things moving. Sure thing. I'll be waiting, Mr. Hamlin. Well, if it's not Red Ryder in our midst, how do you handle him? Decided to get friendly after all and come have a gander at my establishment? Oh, I was just curious, that's all. Curious? Yes. As to why a holdup out of town and some mighty valuable freight stolen calls for a celebration. Just what do you want in here, Ryder? Do I have to want anything? Go on, play with your marbles. I don't need any statistics on chances of opening a new business in Devil's Hole. <laughs> now, listen, Ryder. Skip it. Don't let me spoil your fun. <laughs> As if you could ever spoil anything for me. Even a dinner. <laughs> well, what's the matter with everybody? Stir it up. Have a good time. Hey, Professor, get Come back on. to that piano with some lively music. Curly? Yeah, boss? Over here. Yeah? What is it, boss? I want you and Smokey to have a stud game ready for that bird park. Well, that's what we figured. Now, here's the angle. That red rider is sure to edge up to the table and watch what we do. He's that nosy. Well, I'm sick and tired of having him always there staring at me when I got work to do. I want some trouble to develop. When we're working on that bird park, the minute it does, I want you to do something. Well, I don't want you to miss. Get red rider. Just a moment, we return to the adventures of Red Rider. and Jane Bruce saw an act of robbery on Jane's father's wagon freight line. And now Red's and Ace Hanlon's Silver Dollar Cafe, standing with a crowd about a gaming table, at which Ace himself and a couple of his better card sharps are about to take $3,000 from a young greenhorn who had just arrived in Devil's Hole and has talked too freely about his having $3,000 in cash. Red doesn't know it, but he is in extreme danger of his life. Six. Jack. Ten. Queen. Queen high. Your bet, Mr. Parks. In with the blue chip. Stay. Stay. All in, gentlemen. Nine. Seven. Jack. Well, Smokey, you're king. Bet five blue chips. Just a minute there, Mr. Hanlon. Yes, Mr. Parks. You stay right where you are, hands and all. That king came out in your sleeve. Do you know what you're saying, youngster? Yes, some guys ain't no better out west than they are back home. I saw that king come from your sleeve. Why, you... No, you don't. <laughs> Pretty obvious there, Ace. Never thought a man as smart as you'd ever pull a trick so raw. Now, what are you planning on? Deliberately starting trouble? That job was meant for me, not Bert Parks. Now, Parks, take my advice and slip out of here. Get him, boys. <laughs> I'll shoot the lights out and you skin for the front door. Stick by me. My horse is tied up over there by that wood pile. Hey, there's two horses. Little beaver. How did you know where I'd be? Me find them thunder. Stay them close. Know him, you come. Oh, what a lifesaver you are. 
Here, you get on Sunday with me. First, you take that pinto and let it go. Just follow that creek to some cottonwood three miles down, and I'll meet you there. All right. Easy, easy, Thunder. Why, you red rider stock? Cottonwood's long and way yet. Got a bulge in my pants pocket where I put some money. Just wanted to uh, transfer to the inside of my shirt there where a certain party won't see it. Whee! Lots of money. That's right, little Peter. A rule of $3,000 of Bert Park's money. Ace Hanlon was going to relieve him of it. And I just managed to scoop it up before we said goodbye to his place. Red Rider keep him for a while? Yes, for a while. But I'll give it back to him later. I'm afraid that Bert Park's is pretty easy pickings for these parts. By the way, I thought I'd left you at the ranch at Painted Valley this afternoon. Little Beaver, no one I'm stay. I told you I'd be back before sundown. Red Rider go riding with Jane Bruce. Squad trouble. She look him you like him sick calf. Me no like him. Red Rider always get him into trouble. <laughs> so you figured that whenever I go riding with a girl, I get into trouble. Well, you may be right. Well, let's go on and find Bert. Get going, Thunder. was a narrow squeak if I ever saw one. Man, how you ever got us out of there is more than I can figure out. Never knew there could be so much trouble in one place. Well, it's all over now and nobody's hurt. Yeah, except me. Guess I'll never see the $3,000 left on that gambling table again. I don't want to preach any, Bert. But next time, you ought to think twice before talking free as you did around those boys in Devil's Hole. Yeah. Guess I'm new to this country. Well, here goes my chances of ever investing in a business like I hope. Say, tell me about yourself. Where are you from, and what kind of business did you hope for? You'll think me pretty green if I tell you the truth. Come from Missouri, when an uncle left me that 3000 I figured on the West being a good place to find excitement. Guess it's about right. Want a job? You know where I can find one? Well, I was kind of figuring on riding down to Millersville, 40 miles south. Think I know where there is one. Yeah, but my money, i got to go back and get Don't it. Don't you go near that bunch again. Your money isn't there now anyway. And you shouldn't have been gambling in the first place. Say, think you could drive a freight wagon? Could I? Drove a stage once all summer. Well, there's a freighting outfit in Millersville, I know of, that needs an honest driver. And about all that's wrong with you, as I can see it, is that maybe you're a little too honest. Oh, gee, Red, if you could get me a job, oh, man, would I be grateful. Well, then let's make a camp here tonight and start for Millersville at daybreak. That meet with your approval, little beaver? If Red Ryder no get him in squad trouble... You'll bet him. Oh, man. Mm, that partridge you shot sure smells like a tantalizing breakfast when you cook it that way. It's a special way of cooking. I'm more or less invented when we haven't any utensils. <laughs> yeah. No sign of little beaver yet? Can't figure it out. He was gone with a pinto horse when we woke up. You must have heard something to go off like that. Yeah. Uh-oh. Hear something? Yes, it's Pinto. Mm, riding in fast, too. Something's wrong, Bert. Red Rider, me here, I'm shooting before sunup. Go see. Freight wagon driver dead. Freight wagon driver shot? Where? Over on road, two miles. Come on, Bert. Yeah, but the partridge breakfast. Skip the breakfast. Now take us to where that driver was shot, little beaver. knew what hit him. Did you see it happen, little beaver? No. Me only hear him. Come quick. See him only wagon. Hey, this wagon says on the side, Bruce Freighting Company, Millersville. That's the outfit you mentioned? It is. And the wagon's empty of freight, too. Now, Bert, you said you could drive one of these wagons. You take it in on to Millersville. And little beaver, you ride with him. I'll go on ahead on horseback and talk to the Bruces. And drive with this here body right in the wagon? Yes, I know that driver. He's Dave Small. Above all, bring him in. Red, you don't mean it. 
I do mean it, Jane. You see, Father? Now you'll know I wasn't dreaming about the story I told you. Oh, this is terrible. Terrible. Wait, Mr. Bruce, don't go to pieces. There's a thing or two I want to know first. Oh, yes, Ryder. Anything I can tell you. Poor Dave, dead. My best driver. I, I, I can't believe it. Uh, what's happening to us? Now, suppose you start telling me what the situation is right now with your freight company. Yes. Well, for years I've uh, kept the Bruce freight lines running between here and the Devil's Hole and other towns, hoping for a day when the territory would really open up and it would pay off. But now, well, it looks as if somebody's after me. You think that too? What other explanation is there? I start having business, hauling freight to Devil's Hole four times a week and to other towns two and three times. And these robberies start up, and now uh, my driver's been shot. Oh, it was just awful for Dad, Red. He's personally responsible for the safety of the goods he ships. Well, this can put him out of business if it goes on. But is some other firm competing with you? Who do you suspect? That's what I can't understand. As far as I know, nobody wants my business. As far as my drivers are concerned, I... Oh, I can't believe they join in any robberies. I... I still can't believe Jeff Pierce all did what you say you saw. Well, he did, Dad. Jane's more right than she thinks, Mr. Bruce. I saw Jeff Pierce all accept money from Ace Hanlon and Hanlon's own office. What? Which makes it certain. You did? Why, the dirty double-crossing rat? Wait till I get my whip and meet that lion well. Now, I... hold it, hold it. What good will beating up Jeff Pierce all do? Now, somebody's at the bottom of this, and for some reason of his own is trying to put you out of business. Now, let's wait for him. Red's right, Father. But... But who's behind it all? Is it Ace Hamlin? If it is, we'll find out. Oh, look. Look, there comes the wagon. With little Beaver on horseback alongside. Oh, the crowd's found out already. They're pouring out of the saloons and stores. Now, you stay here, Jane. What's in that wagon isn't very pretty sight. Look, look, Red, way up the street, near the bank. Uh oh. Wonder when he got into Millersville. Why, it's Ace Hamlin. Yes. No doubt they had the Devil's Hole delegation of mourning for Dave Small, the dead driver. Mr. Bruce, I'll look after Small. You go fetch the sheriff and have him here. The sheriff? Well, what can old Jim Primdale do? Never mind what the sheriff's like. Just fetch him. I'm the sheriff here, and I'll ask the questions. Now, you you say that this red rider here then told you to drive the wagon on into Millersville. That's right. We found the body, and What he... part of this Indian kid got in all of this? Me get him help for red rider. Me protect. <laughs> Quiet. Quiet. Uh, all right, Bruce. What time did you send this freight wagon out yesterday with this Dave Small riding horses? Well, it was about uh, 1 o'clock, Sheriff Primdale. Uh, 1 o'clock, eh? Yeah. And you, cowboy, you say you didn't find the wagon in the driver till sun up this morning. That's right. Hey, hey you folks, you got to keep still. We can't hear ourselves think. Here, 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 we walk. Here, out of here, all of you. I'm busy with these folks here. Here, sir, we've had enough of you fussing around getting no place with all the lawlessness and the shooting of the driver, Dave Small. Hey, can you do a better job? I sure can, with some help. And here's the help. Yeah, here we are. We know who shot Dave Small because he was seen. What? Then bring the witness in here and let him testify. It's one man with two friends. And there he stands right there. Red Ryder. Say, Red. just who are you and where are you from? Never mind who I am. I can be a witness, can't I? Yeah. Red Ryder was the one that bushwhacked Dave Small in the head with a rifle and took the stuff out of the Bruce Sprayton and Company wagon. And we aim to see that justice is done. You're crazy. Yeah? Yes. Crazy, am I? I suppose he fooled you, too. Cut all that talk. Just stand back. Stand back. Red Ryder's my friend. He pulled me out of a bad hole once already. By jings, I'll pull him out in return if it means a dime itself. Oh, Greenhorn looking for trouble, huh? <laughs> Look at them guns are trembling in his hand. <laughs> think I wouldn't <laughs> shoot and shoot to kill, do you? Didn't stand back to you because... Hold it, but... Huh? I said hold it. Well, hombre, I'll give a guess and say you've got a reception committee outside, all from Devil's Hole. Have you? We sure have, and if you'll come peaceful, you'll have a fair trial. I'm sheriff of this here county, and I ain't... Hold it, sheriff. All right, hombre. I'll come. Just open that door. Well, I can't think of anything that would suit me better. Hey, 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 h
What a reception committee. Red. Oh, Red, they'll kill you. You'll never get out. Don't walk out there. I've only got one thing to say, Jane. You and your father and everybody else in this room better duck in just about 30 seconds. Because it won't be peaceable. I'm going out there, and I'm going out fighting. Remember to tune in this station Thursday night at 7.30. And every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for the thrilling adventures of Red Rider, the West foremost fighting man. Here, Red... Little Beaver, the Duchess, and other famous characters in an exciting story of the West three times weekly. There's never a dull moment when Red Rider is riding the range, so join him again at this same time Thursday night. And here's a tip. Most of your friends like exciting entertainment, too. So tell them about these new Red Rider radio programs. Tell them to tune in the Blue Network station every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday night at 7.30. For the adventures of Red Rider, America's favorite cowboy hero. Uh, uh.